Hey you all, this is Brian and you're watching the Motherland channel. Have you been scratching your head at the checkout line because your grocery bill is kinda all over the place? Or maybe you've been wandering the aisles and noticing some of your go-to foods are playing hard to get? You're not alone. Everywhere you look, things are changing. And yeah, that includes where we get our grub. So what's up with that? Well, it's a whole mess of stuff. We've got the weather acting all kinds of crazy thanks to climate change. And then there's the political drama that's messing with the trade game. Our food game is global, and it's more connected than you might think. But it's not just Mother Nature's mood swings or the political squabbles. We're talking about things like not enough water for crops in key spots, not enough hands on deck for the harvest, and even sick animals that farmers are struggling with. All this stuff is teaming up and could throw us a major curveball in the food department. Nobody likes the idea of reaching for their favorite snack and finding a big old gap on the shelf instead, right? These are real, and they could shake up what we're all putting on the table pretty soon. But hey, no need to freak out. Being ready is half the battle. Knowledge is the other half, and that's where this video comes in. Number 10. Poultry and Eggs Number 10 is all about our feathered friends, chickens and turkeys, and yeah, we gotta talk about eggs too. In the past couple of years, bird flu has hit some flocks hard. It's super tough to see, but these outbreaks mean a lot of birds have to be taken out of production. And we're not just missing out on the Sunday roast here. Eggs are a big deal for breakfast, baking, you name it. The fallout from these flu outbreaks? It's putting a cramp on both chicken meat and egg supplies. Now, those folks running poultry farms, they're doing their best to fight these outbreaks, but it's like playing whack-a-mole with a really sneaky mole. Plus, they've got other headaches, like not enough feed, and when they do get it, man, the prices are through the roof. So this stuff starts to hit us in the wallet too. For anyone who's a die-hard fan of omelets or grilling chicken, it's smart to buy that stuff when you see a good deal. And, you know, maybe it's time to mix things up with other protein players. Mix it up, keep it interesting. Variety's the spice of life, after all. Number nine, dairy products. Let's talk about dairy products. We all love the smooth taste of milk, that perfect spread of butter on our toast, and who can resist a chunk of cheese? But let me tell you, the dairy scene's kinda like a drama series. It all comes down to the cows. They gotta eat well and stay fit. If the weather throws a tantrum, it can mess up the lush fields they graze on. And if some sickness hits the herd, it's trouble in paradise. Then there's the whole deal with keeping dairy cool on the road. Not exactly pocket change, if you know what I mean. And where dairy's king, local dramas like Not Enough Hands on Deck or a snap decision by the bigwigs can really shake things up. It's like they're literally churning up the dairy market. For the folks who dream of creamy coffee or buttery toast, heads up, keep an eye on the dairy market's mood swings. When the going's good, maybe stock up a bit. It's like dairy insurance for when the market gets moody. Number eight, legumes. Number eight's all about those humble superheroes of the pantry, legumes. We're talking beans, lentils, chickpeas, the gang's all here. Whether you're whipping up a thick stew, a zesty curry, or tossing them into a salad, these little guys bring the flavor and the protein. They're like the plant-based champs for vegetarians and vegans, right? But here's the scoop. These tough-looking crops are actually kind of like the underdogs of the farm world. They're getting knocked around by stuff like wacky weather, tired old soil, and not enough water to go around. It's a rough time, especially in the places that grow loads of these legumes. When their numbers go down, guess what? Prices tend to creep up. Classic supply and demand story. So if you're into your bean game or you just love a good lentil soup, it might be smart to stock up when they're in season and cheap. Legumes are cool like that. Store them right and they'll stick around for ages. Number seven, nuts and seeds. Number seven is all about those crunchy little heroes in the snack world, nuts and seeds. These guys are more than just a tasty bite. They're like the Avengers of nutrition, but they're picky about where they set up camp. Take almonds. They're pretty much BFFs with California, but here's the deal. Cali's been hit with some serious dry spells, and those droughts are crashing the almond party big time. And almonds aren't the only ones getting a tan in the heat. Walnuts have their own VIP zones too, and they're not strangers to the whole water shortage drama or those curveball weather changes. Plus, let's talk about seeds for a sec. Those tiny, mighty specks like flax, sunflower, 
and the cool kid on the block, Chia. They've got their own bag of issues, battling everything from grumpy weather gods to annoying little bugs that just won't quit. If you're the type who digs a sprinkle of nuts over your salad or loves a seed-packed smoothie, you gotta stay sharp on the ups and downs of the market. Catching a calm in the storm and snagging some extras for your pantry could be your ticket to smooth snacking ahead. Keep those eyes peeled for the best time to buy in bulk. Your future self will thank you. Number six, grains and cereals. Let's dive into grains and cereals. These are the foundation of comfort food, right? We're talking wheat for your bread, rice for your sushi, and maize for, well, pretty much everything. But here's the scoop. These grains are like the popular kids from only a few global neighborhoods. Places like the wide open fields of Australia, the golden prairies of North America, and the traditional farms across Europe. And let me tell you, the weather's been throwing some major tantrums in these parts, leaving our grain supplies a bit in the lurch. But wait, there's more to this drama. Imagine the global grain market as this giant, tangled game of monopoly, where countries are constantly trying to trade and sometimes throwing a nope, not selling, into the mix. Now, why should your ears perk up at this? Because grains are like the secret sauce behind a lot of what we eat. That juicy burger? It's grain-fed beef. The tender chicken in your curry? Yep, that bird was raised on grains too. A hiccup in the grain world means everybody in the food chain feels the jitters. If your kitchen is a grain lover's haven, it might be time to stock that pantry to the brim. Or why not go on a little food adventure and check out some local grains? Number five, fresh produce. Number five is all about the stars of the farmer's market, fresh produce. You know the deal, nothing beats the crunch of a fresh carrot or the burst of flavor from a vine-ripened tomato. But lately, it feels like Mother Nature's playing hardball, and our veggie friends are taking the hit. So what's the fallout? Well, it's a bit like a roller coaster for the prices, and sometimes you might find the produce aisle looking a little sad with empty bins where your favorite greens should be. If you're keen on keeping that fresh produce on your plate, you might want to look into joining forces with a local farm through community-supported agriculture. Or, if you've got a green thumb itching for a project, why not start your own garden? Number four, cooking oils. We're talking about the trusty bottle of olive oil you reach for to saute, or the canola oil you use to get that perfect sear on your steak. But the price tags on these oils have been creeping up, and it's not just because they're getting more popular. We're seeing some real drama in the places that produce these liquid golds. Think parched olive groves in Spain and Italy, thanks to some seriously stubborn droughts and the occasional wildfire. These aren't your typical bad weather days, they're the kind that put a serious dent in the olive harvest. And let's not forget about sunflower oil. It's huge in Europe, and a lot of it comes from Ukraine. But with the country facing invasion and conflict, it's not just the sunflowers that are under pressure. The whole supply chain is feeling the squeeze, which means this kitchen favorite could be harder to find. Number three, seafood. Oceans are pretty much the wild frontiers of our food supply, but they're going through some rough waters. We've got a cocktail of challenges like water warming up more than it should, the pH levels getting wonky, and fish populations dropping because, well, we've been catching too many of them. Iconic fish like wild salmon are in hot water, quite literally, with their numbers going down faster than anyone's comfortable with. Then, just when we needed a break, along came the pandemic. Talk about bad timing. It messed with fishing routines got in the way of getting fish to markets, and generally turned seafood supply chains into a bit of a circus. We're trying to make up for it with aquaculture, which is basically farming fish instead of catching them in the wild. But it's like using a little band-aid on a big problem. The world can't get enough seafood, and there's not enough coming in. Number two, coffee. Let's spill the beans about coffee the good stuff that kicks off our mornings. So Brazil's practically the big league player in the coffee game, but things have been kind of bumpy there. They've been hit with some serious dry spells and really chilly frosts that coffee plants just don't dig. What's that brewing? A storm of rising coffee prices and whispers of not enough coffee to go around. And on top of that, it's like the whole world's shipping lanes are playing musical chairs, which means getting those magic beans across the ocean is more of a headache. Maybe it's time to stock up on your favorite roast or venture out to try beans from other spots on the map. Number one, spices. 
Ever wonder about the epic journey those tiny flavor-packed bits have taken to land in your pantry? Well, it's quite the adventure, and it's not just about miles traveled. Spices are at the whims of nature and the sway of global politics. Their story is spiced with a bit of drama involving wild weather and trade twists. Case in point, vanilla, that sweet, fragrant pod that calls Madagascar its home. But, oh boy, have cyclones been having a field day there, and with folks clamoring for more of it, prices are doing serious acrobatics. And hey, it's not just vanilla feeling the heat. Your go-to spices like black pepper, the golden goodness of turmeric, and the aromatic cardamom are all in the same boat, facing their own ups and downs. Since these little guys are what make your meals sing, stocking up on them is a good plan. And that wraps up this video. Any other items you think should have made the list? Sound off in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe, and click on the little bell icon too. Thanks for watching, and God bless.